Hello everyone and welcome to lesson 32. Today we're going to be talking about extending interfaces and again it's going to be another quick one and I think I'm actually going to move to the quicker lesson model as it's easier for me and I can actually do them in my lunchtime and be more um, you know be more consistent. If uh, you guys don't like them again go to the community and let me know. So anyways extending an interface is essentially the same thing as deriving from a class. We can go ahead and create a specialized, remember that whole specialization thing, a specialized subclass or we can kind of do the same thing with an interface. So you'll see here the previous uh, code from the last lesson. Now I've added something else. I've added iStorable replicatable. Now iStorable, repl well replicatable, we do a lot of remote replication and backup stuff here so that's the first thing that came to mind. But anyways, we're just a adding one more uh, method here. So what I've done is previously, this was I uh, storable, right? If you remember. So now what we do is I storable, replicatable, okay? And we'd have to implement that method, right? And I've done that. And if we run this, because I did, uh, actually, did I create that? Okay, so we could do uh, file one replicate, right? So let's run this and same thing. It's really, really basic. We're just extending upon this. Now the one thing to be uh, aware of is remember, um, let's see here, we're casting file two as iStorable and it should say it's, it worked. Right, and if you think about it, we're implicitly staying, and this is the probably the most complex part of this lesson. You know, because i storable replicatable derives from essentially i storable, uh, it is an i storable. So when we go down here and do this cast, it will result. It is true. It, it, we do have all that functionality, so it will work. So whenever we try to perform this cast or if file one is an iStorable, we still get um, implements iStorable and it worked. So again, it's just, you know, because we're deriving that, all of that functionality is included. So even though file is deriving from iStorable replicatable, it's implicitly also an iStorable, uh, implicitly also implements iStorable. So, okay, well, that's it for this lesson. If you have any questions, again, go to the community and let me know. And we'll see you uh, tomorrow. Thanks, guys.